I'm Professor Vipin Gupta. My research seeks to understand the grand challenges facing our societies today and to investigate alternative models for addressing the root causes. Unlike the existing models that emphasize the value of the unique capability of a few global firms, I'm interested in the metaphysical models of strategic management that enable each entity in the world to be capable of creating value for national and international well-being. I propose that it is not only beneficial to work towards this vision, but also beneficial for the sustainability of the unique capability of the global firms. Learning Objectives In applied economics, technological capability is conceptualized as capability of a business to create value. From the perspective of managerial science, this constrains the value of a business is capable of creating. My thesis is that a fundamental purpose of a business is not only to create value for its stakeholders, but also to work with its stakeholders to create value for the society. In this module, we'll learn about how to ontologically conceptualize technological capability as the power of creating values meaningful for the ecosystem well-being and about a systematic sequence of four epistemological models of how to create own technological capability. In the following module, we'll learn about a set of four axiological models of how to create stakeholder technological capability. The ontological concept of capability for value creation. How to conceptualize the capability for value creation? In applied economics, capability for value creation is measured in terms of the ownership control and knowledge about how to grow the ownership value of targeted resources. A capable investor owns monetary power and knows how to grow ownership value of monetary power. A capable worker owns manpower and knows how to grow ownership value of manpower, such as through education and professional development. A capable customer owns marketing power and knows how to grow ownership value of marketing power, such as through negotiating consumer surplus. We refer this concept of the capability of value creation as worker value. Each entity knows how to work to grow the value they are working on. From the perspective of managerial science, each entity's capability is not only limited to how to grow worker value, but includes how to mentor other entities how to work to grow the value they are presently not working on. A capable mentor vendor knows how to grow ownership value of material power, but targets its energies in mentoring customers and potential subcontractors on how to work to grow the servicing value of material power. Such mentoring enables the capable mentor to profit not only from the trading value of its own material power, but also from the servicing value of the incremental material power created by each of the mentored entities. How do we ontologically conceptualize the servicing value of an entity's resource power? In applied economics, servicing value of an entity's resource power is conceptualized as the compensation earned by the entity in exchange of servicing that resource power. For instance, an investor earns interest on monetary power. A mentor investor earns not only interest on monetary power, but also a share of profits on the monetary power of the mentored ventures. From the perspective of managerial science, an entity's servicing value is not limited to the earned compensation per unit of time. It also includes the present value or the power of an entity to earn compensation over its lifetime. A super investor is not interested in the share of profits of the mentored ventures, but instead seeks a share of capital appreciation of those ventures. Similarly, a capable worker is interested in accruing value predominantly in the form of constant compensation as salary. A capable mentor worker is interested in variable compensation as profit sharing bonus. And a super worker instead seeks share of stock appreciation as stock options. If different entities conceptualize the servicing value of resource power differently based on their specific resource power and the form and the value of compensation they desire, how do we metaphysically conceptualize the servicing value of an entity's resource power? We propose that regardless of the form of resource power or of compensation, all entities 
create servicing value by creating six forms of well-being values or what we may refer as an ecosystem of shiny values s for social h for human e for ecological e for economic n for national and y for psychological in applied economics a model for creating value is known as technical model from a managerial science perspective the capability for creating ecosystem shiny values may be referred to as technical capability. 